All right, so quick little update on what's going on out here. Uh, got all the walls up, uh, started some mud and tape all through there. So the other two to do, um, but uh, right now I'm kind of at a freezing point because I need to do these ceilings. And right now I'm just talking about this flat spot right here. So that's gonna be like a three and a half foot flat spot this way. Um, and then I have angled wall. Well, the angled wall I'm gonna try and insulate. So that's gonna be like the last thing I'm gonna worry about. But up here, there is a huge gap. In fact, over here I don't have anything to screw into. There's this beam right here, which you can see right there. And then there's another one, which that one has the light hooked up to it. And then there's another one and then, yeah. So anyways, there's one, two, three, four, five beams over the course of 21 feet. Um, and I'm doing the drywall by myself, so I need to create more beams. So I'm gonna have to do what's done right here. I'm gonna have to do it right here. And over there, there's nothing. So I'm gonna have to create, I'm gonna have to basically create my own beam by doing a block of wood um, that I can then screw up into right there. So I don't know how well that's gonna work. I might have to get really creative and do like a piece of wood on top of that and then attach from there all the way across or something. I don't know. Um, but anyways, so that's kind of where things stand. Um, I'm really happy with the progress. Uh, once I get this part of the ceiling done, I'm gonna get the lights put in because uh, they're just track lights. It's like that and like that. So once I get the track lights in, I can actually move some furniture in here and start doing some stuff. I got some insulation on the floor here that's for the other side um, to do the storage side. So yeah, but anyways, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I think it's coming out pretty good. You can hear the echo now, <laughs> but I've also got my spacers installed, not spacers, ex box extensions. Um, but you'll see that some of these holes I cut a little bit big. And the ones I did not cut a little big, you can see over there, um, did not, they were too, too tight. And so when I actually put the things in there, I broke the drywall. So now I gotta mud that to make it look better. Um, but for doing this all by myself, it being the first time I've really taken on a project like this um, since high school, I think I did, well, I know I did a little bit of drywall and stuff in high school, but um, I had some people to help with things and to teach me some things back then. So anyways, this has kind of been, for the most part, self-taught and I'm pretty happy with it. So, and it's gonna be awesome when it's done. I can't wait. So anyways, that's it. Um, hope you guys appreciate these updates. Uh, still not sure what I'm gonna do with this wall. Still gotta fill in that. Need to cut some drywall for right there and do that. This does not fit. This is some leftover piece. I just grabbed it and checked if it would fit. I gotta cut like, because of this, I gotta cut a little bit off to like wedge it in there and then do like an inch off and then it actually fits. But anyways, um, I'm not sure what to do with this wall. Uh, I don't wanna put any drywall over the top of it because right now it's already flush with this pretty much. Um, so I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna rip it out. I don't wanna paint. I, I Originally I wanted to just paint it. My wife was like, no, don't do that. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this wall yet. Um, Someone said to apply the, you know, the mud to it or something. If you have any cool ideas to make this look good, let me know. I'd love to hear it. So, um, but yeah, so that's it. You can see where they had water damage from before, but we redid the roof and everything. So we're good now. But yeah, anyways, um, input, insight, greatly appreciated. A uh, little stink bug says hi. Say hello. Oh, this glass is dirty. <laughs> <laughs>